Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to you. Five Minute Eats. All right guys, we're back with another one of those dump and go one skillet meals. And today it is the Bertoli Italian sausage and rigatoni. Italian sausage with rigatoni and bell peppers in a spicy tomato sauce. This is 22 ounces. This bowl here represents the entire bag of it. And this was about $6.79 at Target or Walmart, your local grocery store. You can get these at a lot of places. Now we previously tried their carbonara, which was really good. And if you wanna know how you cook this, it's pretty simple, but you can check out our other channel, Food Prepping, where we show you how to make it. But today on Five and Eats, we're gonna eat this and tell you if it's good. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, this is the entire bag. So- For almost $7. Yeah, so it's pricey and small portion. Yeah. Because I feel like this is a- That's a, a hungry man portion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a guy's portion. Yeah, I feel like if you split this between two people, it's a side dish with like, maybe you have like something else with it, a salad or something. You gotta have something else because this is pretty small for two people. Now, the other issue is the- the size of the sausage. Yeah, this was big when you took it out of the bag. Yeah. It looks like it's shrunk a little bit. Tiny bit. But. Even the size of the rigatonis are quite large. These are big. So, I mean, it's kind of like uh, Alice in Wonderland kind of dish. Everything is super sized. I'm a little confused as to why they don't just like chop it up a little bit, but whatever. Here's my other gripe though, just looking at it looks a little dry. Now, if you watch our food prep ink video, you can tell that in the last minute of cooking, all of the sauce pretty much just evaporated off of this because whenever I checked the temperature on the sausage, it still wasn't quite done yet. So it needed that extra little bit of time. But then when I got to that 11th minute, everything was gone. So don't know what's up with that Bertoli, but hopefully it tastes good. Let's get into it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. So our rating system, thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. We were criticizing this before the break, but now that I've had it, overall, this is good. My only issue with this is the price. So if I were to buy this again, it would be when it's on sale. The actual food sausage, I was, I was actually questioning how good it would be because it didn't look that great when we cooked it. Uh -huh. But it's good. I like the spicy tomato sauce. I like the pasta. You know what I really loved and I wish I had more of? Hmm. The bell peppers. Really? I really feel, man, that's what made this. Hmm. Just that um, little kick, right? Just hmm. jazzed it up by having that in there. It made it really good. I wish there was more. Now, about the sauce, if I were to buy this again, I would definitely add more of my own sauce. Mm. But otherwise, good product. Wow, okay. So for me, this one is going to be, surprisingly, a thumbs up as well. I was hating on this hardcore. Even after I finished cooking this, I was just walking around the kitchen just, just about it constantly. I was annoyed with this thing. And honestly, it blew me away. I am very surprised at how good the sauce tastes. This is a really good sauce. Now I do wish that there was more of it, but I could add a splash of our own sauce if it's on sale and we buy it, because I would not pay full price for this, but. That's the biggest gripe I yes. have, and I think you have with this. Yes. This needs to be cheaper. Yes. And also bigger portion. Yeah, exactly. A family size would be great on this, but not a family size for like $20, <laughs> please. But I'm most surprised also, I feel like, by the sausage, because I am highly critical of sausage like this. I always feel like there's gonna be some scary bits in there. I had several pieces of this and there was nothing like scary. There's no gristly bits or anything, no hard bits. This was a really nice dish and I'm highly shocked. To sum it up guys, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use your Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.